What up, everybody? We tuned in for another one. I know, uh, I know y'all probably been wanting to see that. I have, I have. It ain't, it's not the rims, it's not the rims or whatever. But man, I've been wanting to put these tires on for so long. I've been waiting, man. Y'all know I got the locks off a few videos back. I got the locks off, so now I'm at, uh, I'm at AutoZone. I gotta see if my spark plug wise came. I ordered some MSD Street Fire. Uh, spark plug wise they supposed to be here thursday but i don't know man I, I got to run around so hopefully they should be here i'm about to go pick them wires up i'm about to pick up the lug nuts for the 28s because uh, when i put the 28s on the um box i want the chrome lug nuts i want all that stuff to look different so i bought i bought regular lug nuts just open open lug nuts for when i put the uh 9c1 wheels on which i'm doing today but I gotta go get the pack of chrome lug nuts. So when I put 28s on, all those look good. I'm about to get some lug, some lug nuts for the Camaro, cause I gotta use a spline drive or uh, lug nut, a short spline drive lug nut. You know, I'm about to get those for the Camaro. So when I put my racing wheels on there, I can do that. I have those, and uh, I gotta get some black paint. We gotta get some black paint for the um, wheels. So we gotta get black paint. Man, I look like. Hold on, y'all. Man, it's too bright. I gotta get some black paint for the wheels, man. We're gonna make the wheels look brand new. The 9C1 wheels and all of that. So, we're gonna get in here and get all this stuff, man. And I'm gonna show y'all what I get. And uh, I'm gonna catch y'all on this side. All right, y'all. So, let me see. We're taking out the paint. I'm probably gonna put, um, when I paint wheels, I usually put engine paint on there. High temp and stuff. So, we're probably gonna roll with this. Gloss black. Um, well, this roll one chassis paint, but it's still hot temp, you know, black. Gonna roll black paint, probably gonna get two cans of this. Um, matter of fact, well, nah, we ain't, I ain't rolling with that. We ain't, they ain't got enough, so I need at least two. They got some engine paint though, so we're gonna roll with this. We might roll the engine paint We get three cans, man. This should be enough, and uh, we're gonna. Get the wheels painted up. Let me see if my spark plug wires came in. And what else I gotta get? I told y'all all the lug nuts. And make sure you get the right lug nuts. You gotta get the right thread and all of that, right size. So I'm gonna go to the counter and I'll uh, see what we need. And I'll catch y'all in a few. Alright, y'all. So I'm over here by the lugs, getting stuff for the box. I actually don't see the look for the Camaro, so I'm probably going to have to go to Summit. Well, I'm going to have to order from Summit. Cause I don't see what I need, but I'm going to get these. Look, I know I just took these off, man, but these these the six spline. They're on them old school spline dry look that's I had. So, I got these for the for the box. 12 by 150s. Pretty sure that's thread count. And uh, thread size and stuff. So, I'm going to get these. These for the 28s. When I put 28s on, I need these too. Wheel spacer so I'd be able to get that uh, center cap on. I'm gonna put them on the front and space it out so I can put the center cap on the wheels. Hey, I remember the dust cap, and I want some black ones like this, but the right ones so I can run on my racing wheels for the Camaro. But these not these not the right looks. I don't want chrome for them because you know the Jets wheel black. So I'm just gonna go to Summit uh, website and get to the house and order. So this is what we're getting today. MSD wires then come in and I'm about to go get the spray spray paint and we're gonna get to the shop. Alright, so made it from AutoZone. Got all my well, hold on. And man, this, this video gonna be rough because that wind, that wind ain't no joke out here. So y'all just gotta bat with me. I'm sorry man. Even if I had my mic, my microphone tore up, it still would have been rough. The wind just Hey, I can't do nothing about Mother Nature, but <laughs> now I got everything. Yeah, I still ain't got an impact four-way shoulder. We we doing get it done with the four-way. So I'm finna get these off. We finna chain y'all. See the them wheels gonna look ten times better, man. You got to always look. Don't never sell your regular wheels. See that all the time. People get ready to take rims out their car at the set they call them jack stand because they don't have no regular donuts or spares in there. Don't sell your regular wheels, man, but like I said, these Tahoe wheels, y'all see how big the tire, they gotta come up off here, so. I'm about to hook these up. Y'all know one already on this side, I'm gonna take it off. I wish I would've 
brought me a, a rag or something to wipe them down to get the dust off on. See, they dusty as I don't know what. But I ain't got nothing, man. Then oh, the shop closed. I don't know. Maybe I can find something here. I don't know. Cause you don't want to paint over dirt and stuff. I want to make them look best as possible, but I don't care if they don't look perfect. I ain't tripping. But they just, they just spare wheels to go on the car. They don't have no rags or nothing. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, I might have a rag in the um, in the old transport van right here. Cause man, they are dusty. I'm sorry about that wind. So we gotta get us a rag. Let's see if we can find a rag in the old transport van or something, man. Paper towel. Hey, I got a, I got some more. Uh, I got some paper towels in. There. Boom. We'll use this. Let me see. Yo, we'll use this. Get some of it. So we gonna. I'm gonna get them. I'm gonna get the wheels painted first. We're gonna paint the wheels first. Then while they drying and all of that, I'm gonna be taking them off. I'm gonna jack this up. Take the wheel off. And luckily this paint, man, it don't take long to dry. I'm not taping these things up and all of that. So yeah, it's gonna be some paint hit on the tire. I ain't tripping, like I said, I'm not trying to get them perfect, man. Like, it ain't that serious. If these are gonna be the wheels I'm gonna run on here all the time, then yeah, I'll be taping it up. But it's gonna be a little overspray, some paint gonna hit on the tire, but you know, it'll come off. I done did this plenty of times. It'll come off, uh, so no big deal before people Start panicking and all that in the comments. Tell you now, I'm not doing no taping up, none of that. I'm not gonna get all the dirt off either. So paint job not gonna be perfect, but I tell you what, they're gonna look better than they're gonna look better than that. So let me get these things wiped up, man. Ain't gonna bore y'all with this, and then uh, I check back in. All right, so we back. Got my little, got my little emergency. Hold on. So just got my little emergency tool set I bought in North Carolina man we went to North Carolina the uh about two weeks ago my uh, wife uncle passed we went up there and the window regulator went out in the in her denali man so had to get some little tool set so I can take dope panel off and all of that so little tool set coming in handy now so you gotta take these off get the center caps off of these wheels and they are uh, 10 millimeter bolts if somebody had these wheels or whatever and they want to do this and these uh wheels i bought these off of uh bubble bubble caprice it was a 95 i went to lkq called them the tires good on them and everything man like they just sitting out there i couldn't believe nobody had snatched those so get them i'm about to get all these off i'm still wiping them down a little bit that one actually don't look that bad i wiping it down so and I, I see that one missing a 10 millimeter bolt. It's three of them. So I'm gonna get these bolts out, remove the center cap, then we're gonna, we're gonna start painting these wheels and hook them up. Like I said, they ain't gonna be perfect, Carl. They're not gonna be perfectly clean. But normally I would use like the greaser. When I normally do this, I normally do it the right way. Like, you know, take my time, but I'm rushing too. Trying to get y'all a video. And I gotta go to, I gotta go to my partner, uh, General Reveal. He like a little brother to me. He used to help me record too some of the videos on my J Malcolm 2004 channel. My boy Hagen. Some of y'all probably know. If y'all really follow on all platforms, then y'all know him too. But I'm about to, um, I gotta get up there. So I told him I'd be there. I say something. It's a done deal. I'm gonna be there. So, uh, getting these out. Then I'm gonna, uh, we're gonna get ready to paint. Then I'm wiping down, then I'm gonna paint them. So I'll catch y'all on that clip. So, this is what I bought. Like I said, high temp engine paint, a gloss black, and uh, we about to, we about to get to it. Show y'all my paint skill. I hope my boy Brady see that video. Look, Brady gonna have to rate my paint skill, man. They ain't gonna be a good of yours. Like I said, I'm painting on the tire and everything, y'all. I ain't worried about that. Weather, uh, um, weather will get that off. I don't want it perfect. I want it to look better than what it did. Cause I know some folks finna get me in the comments, boy. Hey, man, you could've did this, could've did that. Y'all know what? They're funny, man. Everybody, 
everybody has a better way of doing stuff. But sometimes, man, you gotta listen to people. For real, some people really know a better way, but they want to tell y'all now. I wasn't studying it, man. I'm trying to get this perfect. I can take that. I can get that off. But they already look better than. I don't know why I bought all that paint. I'm gonna use some of it on my engine bay. I ain't doing multiple coats. Quick job. They're gonna look better than what they did. Look at that. I already look better. You know, I got I got a shiny black tie too, but it's all good. It's all good, man. But you you wanna apply even coats normally and stuff, but like I said, I ain't I ain't worried about that. We're doing quick job. It already look better. And then we're gonna put these bad boys on this thing right here. Get get them Tahoe. This ain't no Tahoe box Chevy. It's a box Chevy box Chevy. This ain't no Tahoe box Chevy. So we're gonna move on to the next one. And yes, indeed, I'm finna set the camera down. Then I talk to y'all while I paint. All right, y'all. So we continuing to paint. Get these wheels all looking better. Paint and tie and everything. But like y'all know how I do, man. While I'm work, I'm gonna give y'all some real talk. And listen, let me talk to y'all about when you come up. Cause I'm, I go through this on a regular basis. I deal with people. I deal with people on YouTube. Deal with people in real life. You gotta deal with people that know you. This and that. When you come up, man, you're gonna have people that are mad, dislike you, they hate where you're at in life, they hate your situation or whatever. But you gotta keep moving. You gotta keep moving, man, and you don't give them no energy. Now when I be talking on YouTube, like I'm talking about it now, don't don't get it confused and think I'm giving them energy. I'm just letting people know I know. But when you come up, it's part of the game. It's part of success, man. It ain't even got to be with YouTube because it can be with anything on your job. You're gonna have folk uh you're gonna have folk mad cause of you. You have folk mad just cause uh just cause the world love you. But that's just how it is, man. End of the day, you gotta do what you do. And forget what they talking about. Uh, listen, you where, you be where you be in life for a reason. They where they at in life for a reason, too. Like folk be behind a keyboard talking about me. I know y'all probably look at this video, too, but y'all where y'all at in life for a reason. God blesses me for a reason. But I can say this. A jealous heart don't get you nowhere. You ain't making, well, somebody like me, you don't make me mad talking about me. Because I keep getting blessed. I'm on a four year run. But you ain't gonna come up like that. You got another YouTube channel? You talking about me? You ain't gonna come up like that. You feel me drag racing too and got a channel? You talking about me? Are you mad at me? You ain't gonna come up like that. You behind a keyboard don't have a channel. You ain't gonna come up like that. If you know me, been knowing me for years and you mad. And you talking about me, you're not gonna come up like that. God ain't gonna bless you like that. That's why I don't talk about people. I give it to y'all in motivation, like I'm doing now. Oh, another note. Boy, these things look good, boy. These things look good. Man, they're good. If I go over them again with paint, cause I don't wanna put too much on them. I, I do wanna, I gotta put these on the car before, uh, it's over with. So now we finna take the uh finna take the fur one off. I might slide them on like this and let them dry. Cause like I said, I'm not trying to get it perfect, but catch y'all in a few. Alright, so this is what we looking like. I'm talking about look 10 times better with a sloppy paint job on them. Paint on the tie and all. It still look 10 times better, man. Uh wipe the caps down a little bit, then get them perfect. But See, I'm not putting a whole lot of, uh, I'm sorry about that wind too, man. I know that wind real. But I'm, uh, then put a whole lot of attention and time into them, car. It just spare wheels for the car, so. Yeah, that's what they looking like. Got that one off. I'm about to put two on this side, and then wrap, throw the other one on the other side, and then I'm going to paint that last one up. Then i give y'all a final, a final look on how it look on the car and all that, car. I ain't going to film me taking tires off and all this stuff, so. I'm gonna get these uh get these slapped on, then I check back in with y'all. 
Hey, I just thought I'd show y'all this since I got the back tie off, man. I had never been able to get the back tie off before. Y'all see how big that brake drum is? That's 11. That's 11 and a half inch brake drum. That's another way to know you got an 8.5 in a box Chevy. If you got one. Try, trust me. You put a regular civilian box Chevy brake drum beside that. Boy, it's a night and day different. It'll fit inside of that. So them 11 and a half inch brakes. Uh, as you know, I got all this stuff new. So all of this going to be replaced. New stud, all of that stuff. So just figured I'd show y'all that since I got the tires. So let me finish getting these tires on. And I'll get with y'all in a few. Alright, so look. Here we go. Finished product. I'm talking about look like a different car already. It's amazing what wheels will do for a car, man. I'm telling you. That thing look like a different car already. Tires are still dirty, but... Hey, I can ride like that. I can ride like that, man. Police wheels, a police car. Police wheels, so look. Even when the eights, if the eights have to come off, I still got a nice set of tires. Like I said, they dirty and all that. But, man, they look ten times better than having all them mixed match wheels and them SUV Tahoe wheels on the back of it. They came out good, too. Like I said, just a little paint. All it is, a little time. That's a rough paint job, but it's straight. I wasn't trying to get them perfect, but... Man, just a little time and, and effort, you know, you can make stuff look good or uh, make make big changes. So, got these things mounted up. Well, I've been wanting to do this for, for that longer, but them locks, boy. And like I said, y'all saw earlier in the video, I bought some spline drive locks. Again, that's going to go on the 28s. But, like, they these six spline locks, them were old school five spline locks. Boy, you don't see them no more. But, yeah, I got them on this side. Paint it up. All painted up. We looking good. We glistening. See, I apologize about the wind, but we glistening. That thing looks so much better, man. I'm talking about so much better. That's amazing. Just a wheel change. That's it. Yeah, boy. So we got the wheels on. Like I said, I'm going to be changing all the brake system. I talked to y'all in the car, car. That wind is crazy, but I want to show y'all if any product. Comment below, tell me what y'all think, man. I mean, them some good little factory wheels to go on there. You know they look good, five by five. Big Chevy lug pattern. This this uh box got the same lug pattern as a Bubble Caprice Impala, uh Donks. Big Chevy, so yeah, that thing look good. But I holler at y'all in the car car. They win and all that. It's just crazy. And I tell y'all what we got coming up next. But this thing about to leave from back here and go up there in the shop. So I'm going to catch y'all in a minute. Okay, so I'm back in the car, man. Woo! Cold out there. It's chilly. It ain't really cold, but I mean, it just a little wind. The little breeze got it chilling and stuff. So, man, I got the wheels on the car. That thing looking good. It's even sitting better because, you know, it had the bigger tires on the back. It's sitting better and everything. And I want to go ahead and get those on there because when that thing fire up, when I get some oil pressure, y'all know what time it is. <laughs> y'all already know what time it is. So I like, man, I might well get my donuts on there and uh, cause it's going to be showtime. So we're going in the shop soon. The motor about to get dropped in. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and take the rear end. We're going to take the cover off the rear end and stuff and uh, go ahead and replace the fluid in it. If it got a carrier in it, I'm not sure. Well, I'm pretty sure it got a carrier in it. Got a limited slip carrier. Go ahead and add some uh some carrier additive and stuff. Cause you know you have to have additive in there for for the clutches and the springs and stuff in the carrier. Uh, so I'm gonna do that. Like I said, change the fluid, check the gear, see what gear in it. I know my boy Arnold. That who used to own this car, man. Uh, that ain't who I bought it from. But Arnold is the original person that uh that put the uh, car together. You know he's a subscriber too. He watched. But I remember him commenting and saying it was a 430 gear in there. And a 430 will actually be okay with my 350. I got a 350 transmission, Ford manual valve body. It'll actually be okay with them 28s. Uh, so if it's a 430 in there, I might leave it. I'm going to see how I like it on the highway. Um, but we're going to take the cover off and check it just to make sure the person I bought it from hadn't went in the rear and changed anything. So I'm going to check it. Uh, what else? But yeah, when that, when that motor crank up, it's going down. <laughs> I'm telling y'all, it's going down. That's why I put no tires on there. But I like the way it looked. Comment below how y'all think the car looked with the new with the new wheels and tires on it. Going to the dyno, uh, dyno session soon. Uh, I'm probably gonna put the eights on there and all that. Or uh, I might take it over there like that. I don't know. 
I don't know what I'm gonna do, but I'm going. I'm gonna go to the dyno. I'm showing y'all all that. I'm about to change the game up with this this big rim build stuff. I mean, I've been out the game a long time, but if you really follow me, you know your history. Then you know I've been in the game a long time when it comes to big rim stuff. But I just gravitated toward racing. I mean, I like going fast. I like going fast, fast. I like fast street cars, I should say. So now I'm, I'm, this is my first car putting back together big rim car that I put together in uh damn. Man, I'm trying to, I ain't even thought about it. It's been some years, for real. Let me think. Let me think how long I've been out the game. 2009? 10? It's been 10 years. It's been 9 or 10 years. I have not put a big rim car together in about 9 or 10 years. So, this is my first one putting back together, coming back. And I'm about to change the game up, man. Showing people how to have fun and all of this. The end result, the car going to be nice and I was shocked, man. I, I put on my Facebook, I said, comment how much you think I've spent in this car so far. Because I really don't know. I've been going the budget route. Because I could get a lot more extreme. If I was building this car to seriously race, I would be a lot more extreme drivetrain and all of that. But I still was shocked when I added everything up on how much been spent. But I'm going to get to that at the end of it. Because it is a budget bill. You know, when I get it crunk up, running and driving on the eights, that's going to be the budget bill. Then y'all said paint the car. That's going to be after. That's going to be the end of the series. Now, when I get it crunk up, running and driving, that's the end of the budget bill series. I like to throw that out there. So everything, like when Don't Panic Customs paints, paints this car, that's not, I'm not factoring that into a budget. So uh, getting it running, driving, looking at exactly how it looks, cleaned up with cleaning the interior up, that's going to be the budget bill. You know, I ride it around like that for about a month. And then we'll get the Don't Panic Customs and all that and finish it up. So, uh, stay tuned. I got some LEDs on the way, so y'all get that video. I'll show y'all how to do the LED install on that. So, you definitely want to stay tuned. That video will probably coming next week. Uh, and we're going to continue the uh, spree because I got Camaro content coming next week. If you saw the last vlog, then you know I got some parts got to go on the Camaro. So, it's going to be over here at the shop. Probably a couple of ride reactions. I got some ride reactions lined up in that car. Y'all gonna want to see them. Y'all are going to want to see these ride reactions. Trust me. I got three. I got three ride reactions coming up, and one person is one of my partners. But you know, I don't like call celebrities, but I guess you could say he's a celebrity. Was a celebrity? Is a celebrity? I don't know. He he known. He known when when y'all see him or uh, ride in the car. And I tell y'all who he is and stuff, y'all gonna be like, oh, okay, okay. So y'all gonna wanna stay tuned in, that's all I can say. Connected with many people. So just stay tuned, man. Hope y'all enjoyed this video. I'm out.